Kazakhstan is like only and 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 the truest black defender. Faxianovich. <laughs> People die making weapons here. Alternative is to die in a war zone. People die everywhere, Gunstick. Did you just talk I'm pretty sure them? factories in a place like this are like active war zones. Also, I mean, right now, yeah. <laughs> oh, we do have scriptures here. Check. Oh yeah, if you need books, we can use our cheater mod to only play book missions. Yeah. Having a uh, sorry, I just need uh, four more books to complete the weekly. Oh, nice. I need one mission without without a player death. <laughs> oh, good luck at that. Good luck. <laughs> Let's go to Sedition. Hell yeah! Oh my god, that cock sucking bomber, dude. He had to know he would have breaking land side. Hello, you. Alright, hold on. I have to turn off my health bars real quick. I'm not gonna be Fat Shark partnered for long if I keep this on. I don't know. I'm not partnered and I turn off my health bars every time I stream. Ah! Uh, hmm. ah! <laughs> oh my god, there's two! I don't know, maybe you like said something dude. about Fat Shark that they didn't appreciate. Could be. It's a wild conspiracy theory. No, but I don't know. Could be. I haven't asked to be a partner. I don't want to be a partner. Although if I could get... Mm, patch notes early, that'd be good. Yeah. I mean, that seems to be like... My advantage, right? They'll let you like play on a test server or something. And then the day of the patch yeah, you can I have video think, yeah, out. I'm not sure that's... Yeah, honestly, when it comes to Fat Shark partnership, I think I would rather drink an entire, like, glass of gasoline before I'd become a partner. <laughs> that's a little, uh, that's a little much, but I'm serious. It's extreme, but it's not, not, not that extreme. I just, I, I um, still want to email them and, like, ask, like, hey, there's, like, this partner of yours that says he's, like, literally bound to say the truth. Like, is that true? Like, what do you do? Do you check his videos? Do you correct mistakes? Like, is that... I know it's bullshit, but I want, like, an official Patrick response I can, like, post it on YouTube. Like, shows about it. Imagine there's Patrick not playing their own game, not testing their own patches, but then still, like, watching videos about the game. And, like, fact-checking stuff that they don't even know. That would be so hilarious, dude. Like actually fact checking them, like actually the Ripper Mark V, really good because there are these things we don't tell you about. Check this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> this one weird trick. Actually, I mean, confirmed we know they don't get fat shark. Fat shark hates him. Because otherwise they wouldn't be wrong about the fucking Mark V Ripper. Like, can you imagine being like such a fucking loser that you like are adamant that like you're bound to tell the truth and then you need to make like a fucking correction video? <laughs> I mean, doesn't that show that you're really... What's the word for this? It means you published bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's... yeah. <laughs> Couldn't Wait, find the word, but there it is. You found it. Anybody making content on Juju is already, like, bound by, like, proof, you know what I mean? You can't just make shit up and then expect to gain viewers. Like, people will, like, correct you in the YouTube comments section and yeah, just I... believe you, you know? That's kind of what happens. Plus, people wouldn't... Yeah, I don't know. People wouldn't lie. Like, there's already an auto fat check. Hmm? People wouldn't lie on the internet. They wouldn't do that. I mean, it's not about lying on the internet, but, for example, the one thing you didn't know about Hellbores, the dude pointed it out on a comment section, and it's like, you can now go to him and go, like, that's just not true, but somebody else in the comment section will try it out, and it's like, hey, and go, like, oh, actually, this is true. This yeah. YouTuber is fucking retarded. That's a lot of- Wow! I, uh, I actually How went... many gunners is there? Jesus. The moment he said that, I was like, okay, that probably works. Let's go test it in-game. Does it cut me yeah. uh, if I want to press F to pull out my gun? How much do I actually gain? And I was surprised. Like, yeah, you gain, like, a third of a second. It's actually huge. The Mark VI Ripper Gun and the Mark II Ripper Gun have absolutely no purpose, Carl. Like, they are extremely badly designed weapons. The Mark V does literally everything better. There's... it's absolutely... Stu it's absurd. How badly balanced this weapon category is. And Fortier points out that the Mark II does something special. In actually... oh my god, bro, that'd be... that'd be basic, dude. I can like that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. The funniest... Wait, what? The funniest thing is when Grim shows up and like instantly corrects me, or, like two does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Mark V is like a sniper, but it's also the best one at close range, which is something. That must mean it's worse than medium range, right?
<laughs> Come on, climb over it. Okay, okay. Now you're gonna climb over it again. Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. You can do it. No! Yeah, it can only cross from this side. What the fuck is wrong with this? Don't judge me. I make my own fun. Oh my eye. Fuck. I just watched it! Oh, what the fuck. Uh. So what you got? Like a yeah. hair stuck on the back of your arm? Oh. Wait, what? I threw the I threw the box at the mutant and it bounced and hit the mutant behind me. <laughs> I think I saw it too. Yeah. I disagree. Born in blood does nothing for you. Like, it's only strong in situations where you don't need toughness. Like, when there's a shitload of stuff to shoot. Because at that point, just pull your melee out and fucking dab on it. Yeah, but what if and I want to do my a... hybrid gaming and brace my ripper into a horde? <laughs> what does Born in Blood do exactly? Uh, it gives you toughness back on kill, which in theory is really strong, but in practice you don't really need it ever. It's like, it just plays away kind of, but there's, no really, there's no competition for rippers. Mm. It's a bit unfortunate, it's one of those weapons. Well, it's I mean, it's because most both of those are actually important for us. So. Yeah. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> the Reaper all the way down the corridor kept me from going to the doorway. Come on! They could at no, least scale the pushback on Reapers with like this, so they can't do that. Either. Yeah. I mean, maybe they do, but it's not enough. So that reminds me. That reminds me of freaking TF2 Natasha. Dude. God damn it! Yes. Really, the really down. old, really old version of Natasha, where it would slow you fully at any range. Oh yeah! It's it's awesome. Evil. Oh man, I remember the old Sandman. That was actually. <laughs> oh, it was so oh, good. Yeah. It was so good. Didn't it like fully stun me through Uber? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that was so fucked. Oh, whoops. Oh, those two mute. That mean went through me, paused, and then was like, wait a minute, I missed him. Came back and grabbed me. Hey, what's up, Devil X? Yeah, we're killing the mission board. I agree, boys. The Sandman Chronicles is the best comic book ever written, and the Netflix adaptation is indeed a fucking cool place. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, gonna... That's what they oh, call I'm... hijacking the conversation. I'm watching this intense gameplay by Tello right now. I'm look at that gaming. He's winning. People oh, say that the bash on the fucking auto pistol is bad, dude. But look at this shit. Uh, no, it's not bad. I think I think the weapon melee, like gun melees, are so underrated. Man. Mm, sniper coming still. Reject yeah. mission board murder gang. We love one more try. Wait, did you guys end up just playing with me? No, we got that money. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna press the button to be funny. Oh, Ducky just pressed the button. Way. How does this budget phone have a better Dude, I screen? Fucking, I swear to God. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Of course it has a better screen. How does this budget the phone did not take the pavement? It's a budget phone. I, had, I have like a phone. I, that, I'm not that joking. I am not last joking. Year. That's Why are they up there? Oh, God. That's fun. Well, how does he? How do you shoot this without any recoil? Are you? Oh, you your gun. When I use that gun, I get lots of recoil. You use yeah. it, and it's like it's just, it's still what the fuck? Whoa! Fucking dog. Are you? Have you tried Is pressing? You? Up? If you try to modify your completely like half your recoil, it's like it's like... Wait, you're playing with a veteran, right? Yes. Right? Oh fuck! I was using. Okay. Hunters outside of veteran, kind of like a fun joke. <laughs> Wait, you're using this gun as a veteran? Yeah. It's the best class <laughs> to use it. Yeah. It's like one of the best weapons on veterans. What do you mean? No, no, it's a, it's trash. But like no, no, trash don't, don't, you, don't you know? You got to use the plasma gun. Is any of the headhunters good? <laughs> uh, oh wait, headhunter. Uh, yeah. Oh my bad. I thought you were playing with one of the infantry. You're actually playing no, with no. a headhunter. Yeah, okay. yeah. But I can use the bolt. What was it again? Play. Like the single shot headhunter was the most functional, but it's still like garbage. It's not quite garbage. It's just like the 
Maniac damage is so low that you have to take dead shots to compete with infantry other guns. Reach for the the main issue of it is that every time I tried to use a single shot headhunter, like I got no rigs like all the time and I couldn't kill anything. <laughs> I mean, that's... But maybe that's not a problem with the That's not the itself, headhunter's so fault, that's yeah. Fair. That's like Swedish I mean, engineering. I mean, if teleports is able to use it... You are to notice more with a headhunter than with an infantry, right? Like, infantry, you hold button until you see a red flake, and then you stop Yeah, I, I, guess that, I guess that's uh, why no, I thought no. about it so much, since headhunter, like, requires so much more effort to, like, kill stuff. Oh, uh, the two-burst is, like, the worst one, man. They need to make the two-burst, like, an A94. Like, make it a hyper-burst. Like, you should be able to fucking pump the trigger and, like, unload, like, a thousand bullets. That'd be best. That'd be good. Also, they just seem to deal normal damage. Like, why does this suck against Maniac for no reason? I don't get it. <laughs> Dude, it's system. so loud! What's going on? Shitting competition. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear myself think! What the fuck? Which one's winning? So, you see, you fucking look at GIMP like this and you think, man, this game is seven months old. Can you imagine? Can you believe it? Can you believe it, guys? Console release, just a week away. <laughs> They put up a dartboard with how to cripple each weapon, that's so true. And with the broken weapons, they just miss the board and that's why they have no, like, downsides. <laughs> you ever send text messages to people who are, like, fucking... ...socially behind? Oh, you mean like me? Like my nephew, I'm saying. Is this a concealed insult? Yeah. Like, I want to add my nephew to, like... Fucking messaging app on its cell phone. It's like, oh yeah, but this app, this and that and that and that. Then he sends this whole thing without actually sending his fucking ruse right. Like, I, I, I just asked you for your ruse right, dude. You sent me seven messages, and I still can't add you. You see a problem. You're a bit toxic there. Yeah, but then my nephew also checks his fucking cell phone like three times a day, you know what I mean? So if he didn't answer now, I don't know, I'm gonna fucking wait five hours before. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh! Like you're talking to a small child. I got you, gonna ah. Yeah, the I think they, it's not just like nerfing the flamer, it would make it more fun if it had like physical oh, what? Like you just shoot like a liquid mm -hmm. that has, you know, f impact, physics, and like reacts to them. Like it would just make the weapon more fun and more balanced. And then you could do stuff where, like, it make it better at single targets because, like, the longer you hold the the beam of flame, the more they can damage. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to rework it completely if they want to give it a target cap. Like, if they just keep it as it is and then just give it like a cheap target cap, it will become the search stat that doesn't stand. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's not fun like to have this cloud go through everything. Like, it just makes you makes it feel limp. Like, there's no real. Yeah, you're just shooting it. hot air. Exactly. It literally just feels like hot air. It's a cloud. Kill. You. <laughs> Dog, please comply with death. Dude, that, I hear that's a, a shame. Oh. He, he, he fell down because yeah, of he got, he got smelted, dude. It's a shame. Who smelted? Yeah. Into the fires of Mordor, dude. It was the only way to get rid of the grimoire. <laughs> I heard the script speaking out. Dude, it's just like Vermintide 2, you know, when you're fighting a troll and it 180 slaps you into water and you die. Uh, Vermintide 2, uh, you're the one <laughs> sending the fucking troll into the water, you know? Yeah. Good thing they fixed like the 180 feet aggro switches. Discipline and training! That's where I lost my planet! Pain. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shoot up, man! Shoot up! Okay, now I'm actually starving. I'm gonna go and get food to eat. Good luck, man. I hope you survive the end. I hope your phone My survives. phone. <laughs> my poor phone. 
What? Oh, they need to fuck off with like this instant unstagger bullshit. It's like fuck you, unstaggers your own. Unstaggers. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Hey, no! Oh, the knockback. Don't care. Still don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I, I hope I don't need to buy a They didn't new ask us your device. device. They didn't know that. <laughs> Goal hammer, man? Yeah, I'm hoping long lives are gonna be good. Well, praying. Yo! This freaking I'm idiot! Not just for friends of fire. Tried to bayonet me and he missed! Yeah, well, I was standing still and rewiring. So, you know, who's the real loser? Doesn't have to have your heart. Just shut I'll down. Help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have no. to kill a Cadian, or is he already dead inside? You know. <laughs> think about it. I cannot. Oh, he's also dead death. outside. You know, like it's a fucking wheelchair. He's not. No, but like, even if they survived Cadia, you know what I mean? Like, do you actually have to stab him through the heart? They just have to scare him a little bit, or they hide themselves into a fetal position. It's like, all right, dude. If you if you spit at me while screeching one more goddamn time, dude, I'm calling Abaddon. Yeah, honestly, no, playing with a Cadian gamer would be so toxic, dude. Like the moment you do anything wrong, he would just say, you know, Cadia wouldn't have fell if you did better. Yeah, you just know uh, the Cadian vet says the N word. You just know it. <laughs> <laughs> I will make him. <laughs> oh, no. There's a book here. <laughs> That's not advertising I friendly. <laughs> I already have the book, so. Oh, there's a book here. Your feet don't stop you firing a gun? What the fuck does that mean? What a weird gremlin he is. Oh, look at the horde running away! Oh, they came oh. back. <laughs> <laughs> they had changed their mind. The horde has all Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. <laughs> Pathfinding be like. Kinda weird they didn't program them to like wait for the door because they know that in like one second they're gonna be able to just jump above it or go through it. Like, is this a is this a new oh, that's a like thing by the way? Like, it seems like enemies get stuck in doors all the time now. Nice burster, by the way. What the fuck is this bullhorn doing? He tripped over the stairs. Am I using DLSS? Oh yeah. Although with the latest update, maybe the game runs without DLSS. I don't know. I don't want to try. Yeah, I, I'm I feel like more when you turn it off and it'll like crash or something. I'm oh, using no, just it. like fry my frame rate, it will never get back up. Like, just no, I'm it. just using the FSR2 on uh, quality settings. There's absolutely almost no ghosting. So yeah. Yeah, I literally just use like the default settings recommended to me with all of the post-processing turned on because the moment I touch anything else, like my frame rate becomes like incredibly freaking unstable. It's like it turn goes from like 60 to like zero for a few seconds. It's not not optimal. Yeah, the DLSS is well implemented. That's kind of normal now. I feel like DLSS is just generally like super impressive. DLSS 1 was shit, but then after that, it was yep. fucking crazy. Like, it was mad. Yeah, but then they made the sequel. Oh, yeah. They made two sequels. Man. Oh, yeah, true. We're at three. Uh oh. DLSS 2 is still really bad. I thought DLSS 2 was pretty impressive. Hehe, <laughs> dog! Oh, we're getting to bring the. 
It's over. Mm. <laughs> it's Dog so bro. over. Oh! <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> Dog jump scare. No! There's another here! Help! I did not hear that. At all. Imagine getting hit by some. Never do. Who does? And then I get to like play back the audio. And usually vindicated, but sometimes you hear things like a femtosecond. Mm. Like I had a double dog in front of the upload that got like in the pipe. And like the second dog literally does not make a sound. Like you hear like a very faint like micro growl when he spawns. Because he spawns like out of sight, like behind like this. Like because literally, you know, you don't have line of sight, so the game thinks, oh I can spawn something there. And it just literally runs at you, doesn't make sound and then leaps. Oh, wait, which sure, which they make one? sound like while leaping. And basically you get bounced on and then you hear like do ground. Well if you're running performance for like try running in unbounced. Because for me at least it ran better. Like the like the it's weird, but this is a Swedish game. Can I just see somebody say that the bull bush was bad? That's what it's called all grand iron. Mark three, mark four or Oh uh, I see. Yeah it is bull show. Hundred percent correct. Oh, nice ghost headshot. Very nice. How the original model of the, your bull busher look like? <laughs> Cleaver, a, a bayonet knife, like, or a uh, trench knife. The Mark, Mark, Mark III is the best one. What do you mean? You got a conspiracy theory. To it's boring, it. but it's the best one. I think they were testing Ogren in the house. Ogren fucking sucked, and then they just made him bull butcher. And removed all the locks, removed all the fucking Oh, yeah. They were like, here, Ogren, now good. Problem solved. Wait, what the fuck? Now I'm getting stamina back even when I'm not moving, but when I twisted this in the meantime, it didn't work. Go shoot me, boys. No, not you. Please shoot me. Please, one of you shoot me. It does work. What was the interaction there? The moment they shoot you, okay, you, you, you always get that? Are you using chat block? You would tell me, right? If your stamina is uh, below 50% and you take damage, you will gain stamina. But on, but on guns, it's it seems to only work while moving. But, uh, Don't. I'll, I'll, I'll add that to the pin comment. Because I thought so as well, but I corrected myself while I was making a video. I was like, huh, actually, it only works when I'm when I'm moving. Ah! Yeah. Oh my fucking god. I honestly getting bullied by like iffy shooters as he's trying to oh, the type all the way. Crazy grip. Yeah, I'm using that shot. It just reminds me of the fact that Ogun should really be able to just deflect bullets with his melee. Just swing at the bullets with his club to get rid of them. Send them back. Ogun is now only a character. Wow, I didn't get grabbed and I just dodged regularly. Wow, that's impossible. Me too, I think the last one is the best Oh my god, shut the fuck up! He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna shut him up for good! Mission accomplished. I think there's a few things wrong with him. Like the grab is fucked up, but the range should be fixed on that. Other than that, pretty good. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna say like it's a really good boss. To spot dodge him. I, but I think that's a problem with the mechanic in general, not with the boss yes, itself. You have to be able to spot dodge him, right? Otherwise, you just yeah. If you if you couldn't spot off. dodge, it would be like way worse, considering your movement options are like so like awful. Just dodge away. 
Can't imagine it's normal, it's all yeah, but then when would you do damage? He leaves a little time in between. Like it's, if you wouldn't be able to spot dodge, you just would never be able to like solo him. Anyway. In theory, hey, boss you has could. To Have you seen Krabs' video? It's the fucking Sills with the shovel. Dodging away. Yeah, but he's got. Hmm. <laughs> True, but this is. He dodged away in between attacks and hitting nothing else, right? What? This is probably like say game with nothing else going on, right? But if there's anything else, even if you can spot dodge, you're not gonna be damaging the spawn. Like it's not worth the risk. Like if you, unless you're playing with a stupid class, like you just don't, don't do it. Mm. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. Uh, I don't mind to spawn Oh shit! I'm sorry. Just well with a boss that's like hyper aggro. Sorry for what? Our daddy told us not to be ashamed of bursting fog bursters. Oh, oh come on! Oh that was. <laughs> <laughs> you really, really clutch it, really <laughs> clutch the feet from the jaws of victory with that one. <laughs> Get down, Mr. Streamer. Yeah, the, the slug is horrible now. That's another thing, like, this game doesn't really work with, like, one big boss encounter that you fight. So the bosses, to be good, have to be, like, a disruptive force that you add to the mix. To collect force attention, force splitting, force repositioning. Mm -hmm. The only boss that succeeds at this is the spawn. Oh yeah. No, I like would the... say Beast of Nurgle also has a lot, large factor of like. Uh, in, in the most, in the raw like sense, that. it forces you to move away, but it actually doesn't disrupt anything because of how fucking slow it is. Like you just go on a loop to loop, and it fucking does nothing to you. I know, but the spray has a long range too. And you just you fucking LOS it. You just walk away from it. It's only a straight line. You just go who, who are these people? Oh, what who are, who are these them? people? They, the, this event does that sometimes. It just spawns a patrol. Yeah, shit, it's just a bus full of fool again. That's like though, AFK. Like, They're always AFK rather. as well. They're just sitting there. Like, I think the, that's a good idea. The beast should spawn ads. It should guarantee mm -hmm. that there's like a fucking horde of like buffed up foxies that comes with it. So here's my hot take. I really like the beast, but only if you have a comp that actually deals damage to bosses. Because then he's fun. But that when you don't, funny. he just becomes like he's a big so U. I like his Yeah, but the issue I don't is mind you, him. You, you, don't... you like the fact that he vomits on you, then he auto eats you at three stacks? That is not an interesting thing. See, there's the thing, like this is the implementation of the mechanic. The mechanic that he has to vomit on you and then he has to grab you to eat you, that's a good mechanic. The mechanic that he like vomits like three times on you and now it like speeds up and like blah, 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 blah. Takes your dick, steps it in his mouth, so that's a good mechanic. The I mechanic where he spews on you once and yeah. then he does like this instant animation of grabbing you, that's a really bad mechanic. Like any big grab should be dodgeable, you know what I mean? I, I don't even think this like three shit, three things when you first grab you is good. Like it's fucking extremely boring. Doesn't no, it? because it's, it's slowly, easy to like not it get... It slowly crawls at you and it then vomits you. It's like the worst... Yeah, exactly. It's like a slug coming at you and like sticking his tongue on your face. If he's allowed to do it that sucks. three times, I feel like you should get punished. Also, it's not even well, the biggest It's not about punish. that. Like, like you should get punished like, oh, way die. more than that. Like, it's not that it's too hard. Like, he doesn't punish you nearly enough. Like, all his attacks exactly. fucking yeah. suck. He's slow no, as no, shit. No, no, I agree with this. And he lives this piss trail, like his tub girl trail behind him. That's just annoying to deal with. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I have that to, should, like, like uh, walk If over. that had, like, half the timer, right? I feel like, I don't know. I feel like the Beast of Nervous, like, could be a good boss. It's just the implementation of it is bad. The theory of it is not... I think the theory, like the theory is, is good, I think. I think a slow like boss theory, in a game nice. like this is condemned to be a failure. As yeah, I don't the know. Beast I, don't, I don't like the fact that, like, the Beast of Nurgle only has, like, one thing it can do that actually deal damage to you. It kind of gives off the same vibe as, like, the old, like, Storm Fiend in V2, where it literally did nothing, but if you got direct hit by the flamethrower, you lost, like, a hundred health for no reason. Yeah, but that's not the case, though. You can get direct hit by the fucking spew, and it's not like you lose a hundred health. Now you just get Dude, no way. Yeah, it's even Storm worse than Storm Fiend. No, it's not. You get, like, 10 correction. Yeah, exactly. Storm Fiend actually dealt damage. Yeah, but it dealt like 100 damage versus 20 corruption. I'd rather take the 20 corruption. Though. I'd rather have a boss that I need to avoid its attack. I mean, I and know what you mean there, like, you slow can boss sit this in game is weird, but... You not care about it, like, it's fucking horrible. It's such a badly designed boss, like, nothing about it is good. It's from juice. It. Change it. Make you don't it, want make it really it fast. Juice. Make it Nobody much faster. In that juice. Make it go, make, make it be right, angry. Like... Here's the thing, it starts off slow, mm. when it pukes on people, it like has an animation where it gets pissed off and it like starts fucking running at you, like the slug is now fucking really pissed and it starts crying. Yeah, he's hungry, he's hangry. Or if he like, he leaves around this trail, right, if he, he does a loop-de-loop -loop and now he goes on his own trail, he would be faster. Something like that, like that would be cool, I agree. 
any 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 vomit interaction if he vomits on people he gets faster if he goes over his own vomit he's faster just anything to make it interesting anything but what we have now yeah even if he is playful if you get if you get hungry you know sometimes you just want to kill some people you know what i mean Polygogrin could be really good just make it a minotaur make it aggressive make it really fast yeah. just make it make it so make it so you can't spot dodge his stomp make it so you can't spot dodge his attacks you're forced to move away make it so he actually you know hurts you when he hits you and just make him move fast like why is his charge super fucking slow but tracks you so you can't really dodge so you just block it which feels bad and isn't threatening or fun it's everything is wrong about the play Godwin. just to make him aggressive like the American army has drones that cost like millions of dollars that don't have the same tracking technology as the Plague Ogren dude. Yeah. And then sometimes you have an aneurysm and just misses you, <laughs> just walks past you. No, they, the, the bosses fucking suck man, the spawn is the only good one man. Yeah. My beloved thinks the streamer is an asshole that knows nothing about anything!